Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13-year-old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel, and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. everyone we are just getting up on this beautiful sunny day in this site getting ready to move on john's uh, just heading out i think where are you going dude heading to the toilets yep yep ella is still I'm waiting to get out now i can get out <laughs> It's a nice way to get out of bed. Look at that thing that just pulled up. Wow, not jealous at all. Um, anyway, uh, we were originally gonna go up the coast and look for a campsite where we could go snorkeling and all that again, but we thought we'd have a bit of a change. Now, I'll probably show you on a map is a good idea. We're gonna head up this peninsula. Instead of cutting across the bridge, uh, it's to go around Bosnia. Instead of cutting across the bridge and going back to the mainland, we're gonna go further north on this peninsula because there's an area where there's a lot of surfers and stuff like that. And John's got his surfboard on the roof, which he hasn't had a chance to use yet. So how can I deny him that? Yeah, so let's take a drive up there. So obviously we've had to have a very quick stop at the side of the road, literally 100 meters from the campsite. We walked here last night in the dark, so I couldn't film it. We came down these little steps. John's with me, Ella's chilling in the van. Just getting some shots around here, because look at it, it's just, well, look over my shoulder. Gorgeous. And then there's this platform that someone's made, swim platform. Yep, so you've got your steps to climb out of the water. Look how clear the water is. And just look at this. Okay, back to the van. That's just too beautiful to not stop. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. Blows my mind every time I see something like that in Croatia. Hello. Hi. up 
uphill now for quite a long time. I am hoping there might be some sort of viewpoint somewhere we can have a little stop, stretch our legs and have a look before we get down to these beaches. We found one quick place to stop, so we're just gonna have a quick nosy. I don't know what this is, whether it's some sort of art sculpture or what, but it looks like a viewpoint. Let's see. So it says here, we've just done the translation from fire and ashes from blood and tears, a new one was made. And it obviously used to say Yugoslavia there, and you can see it's been chiseled out. There's lots and lots of names here. I don't know if these are names of the dead. And up to the monument. And actually looking at all these names, this memorial, they've all died in around 1944, 1943. So that's World War II. So obviously this monument was to soldiers who died in World War II. Um, but back then, it was Yugoslavia, so it's all been chiselled out. Interesting. Right, yeah, it's a bit dark to see, but this is obviously soldiers and stuff. I don't know if you can make that out. It's depicting uh, workers being strangled and whatnot by soldiers. And look at these soldiers here, look, SS troops there. So yeah, this is uh, obviously Yugoslavian troops winning out and taking German prisoner. All right, enough of that. Back to the van. Let's get down to this beach and see if there's any waves for the big lad. Are you hoping for waves? Yep. We just pulled over at the supermarket for some supplies. We're about 20 minutes away from the campsite we were going to try out. It actually doesn't look like there's any waves out there, so we'll see how we feel when we get there. But if you're ever in Croatia, this Tommy, Tommy Supermarket, Hypermarket, oh my God, after being in Montenegro, they've got everything. They've got absolutely everything. It's so nice, and look at that. And look at that. <laughs> and John got a little one. <laughs> Right, we've just driven down here onto this uh, waterside road, beachfront road, and we just passed one campsite that was quite big, but it looked nice, it looked pleasant enough. It might be a bit more pricey with it being so big, probably got good facilities. But we're just having a little drive along to the one I originally uh, found on park for night. But uh, there's definitely no ways for surfing, it's more about windsurfing it seems down here. But it's beautiful, just like everywhere else. Look! So we've had a little drive along there and um, it didn't look any better there than it was around here. That first campsite looked nice, so I think we're gonna head back and see if we can get a slot there where we can see the sea. I'd like to just be able to sit on my chair with a cup of tea and see the sea. Does that sound good, kiddos? Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, that'll do. There's the van behind me. You see the L sat on a chair, relaxing. And then we just turn around. And there we go. So that was a good find. I haven't figured out from the lady how much it is yet. She's a bit random, but she's very, very nice. So yeah, John's obviously getting into his swimmers and he's gonna be going swimming.
that, what a place to have our evening meal. We're very simple tonight, nothing too extravagant, we've just got soup and sandwiches. And it's lovely, isn't it kids? Yep. And we're also surrounded by cats, cats everywhere. Oh look out Limpy. Meet Hamelsworth. Hello Hamelsworth. Looking very comfortable there John. Yep. You getting a massage? Yep. And there's the Elle having her dessert. I named him Mr. Hammersworth. <laughs> Well, it doesn't get much better than this, does it? Take them off, they're reflecting. Absolutely beautiful. Kids are skimming stones here. Sun's just gone down. I was hoping for it to light up the clouds a bit, but it didn't. That's okay. It's still just absolutely beautiful. What can I say? What more can I say? That's it. I think we're going to go to bed soon. Oh no! Good morning everyone. So we've decided to spend another night at this campsite we found here. It's absolutely lovely. I think I'll put a little pin on a map to show you where it is because I can't remember the name of the place right now. It's a bit of a mecca for windsurfers and stuff so it does the wind does pick up here a little bit. But um, yeah we've decided to stay another day because I'm going to go out snorkeling with John. There's not much marine life but my gosh the uh, visibility is incredible. It's so clear. It reminds me of my days in Thailand on a good day. So yeah, I'm probably going to get ready and go out for a swim and then maybe a bit of sunbathing. So I'll take the camera underwater, but you probably don't want to see me sunbathing, do you? No, no, you don't. All right, I'm going in for that little swim that I talked about and look who's going to join us. Look who's going to join us. She doesn't look impressed about, about it. I had to make a deal with her to get her in. <laughs> right, just going to get my stuff on. Ella's sorted. She's making funny squealing type sounds and stuff, but we know she's going to enjoy it when you get in there, aren't you, kid? <laughs> go on, on you go. Right, let's go! So we just got back from that lovely snorkel, we've all been for a shower, we've got tea and biscuits on the go and I was just wondering what Ella thought about it. Did you enjoy it? Yes. What did you like? Clear water. The clear water, yeah it's beautiful isn't it? Do you think we'll get you out there again? No. <laughs> Why? I just thought I'd give you a little update as to what's happening here. So we did nothing the rest of the day after that snorkel. Ella got on with her art and hung out with the local cat. 
I did some sunbathing, which I have not done in years. I read my book, Laid on the Beach, which was fabulous. A uh, bit more snorkeling with John, a bit more snor sunbathing. And that's it really, we've just been taking it easier. We're having a real nice little holiday on our holiday. Uh, the kids have just gone up to do the washing up. I'm boiling some water, we're gonna get some pasta on the go. It's um, really, really windy, so I hope my uh, dead cat fancy microphone here is doing its job. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's loads of kite borders and windsurfers out at the moment. They're a bit further out though, so you can't really see them. But other than that, yeah, we're just going to nibble some food and enjoy relaxing in this absolutely stunning location. Because tomorrow we pack up and we ship out and we're moving on somewhere else. ready but I'm not telling the kids yet I'm gonna sneak up on them look at this how cute is this and they pretend they don't like each other most of the time another video thank you all so much for watching but please don't run away just yet because if you haven't liked or subscribed if you wouldn't mind that helps us out so much it doesn't cost you anything and we would really appreciate it bye bye for now